The kingdom of Deltora is shrouded in darkness. There once was a time when the belt of Deltora protected the kingdom from such evil. It was Arden, the first king, who forged the belt and affixed the seven tribal gems to it. Each gem had a unique and magical power, and united, they made Deltora unconquerable. However, the gems were stolen and scattered to seven of the most dangerous places in the land. This was the doing of the evil Shadow Lord, who then conquered and ruled the land by terror. It is in dark hours that true hope and courage are born. Out of this despair, a boy would step forward to defy the Shadow Lord and search for the seven gems. These are the adventures of Leaf, Barda, and Jasmine. Sorceress Tegan, Leaf and his companions encounter the enigmatic giant. They manage to solve his riddles, thereby freeing him of Tegan's horrible curse. Worried for his safety, Jasmine orders Kree to return to the Forest of Silence. After saying farewell, Jasmine continues on the quest with Leaf and Bard. Later that day, our heroes come across a rallied man held captive by Grey Guards. Risking everything to save him, they once again find themselves in danger. They're gaining on us, and soon they'll start firing those poisonous blisters! This isn't good. The path is straight and there aren't so many trees. It'll give them a clear shot. Through here. It's our only chance. <sighs> Wild sweet plums. They smell really delicious. Now's not the time to be thinking about food. Look, they're not chasing us anymore. What? Oh, that's a relief. I made this myself. It's my mother's recipe. It heals skin quickly. You don't need to thank me. <laughs> We're still not completely out of danger. We need to scout the area. You should rest and wait for us here. <sighs> don't worry, we'll be right back. It's weird that there are no Grey Guards around. True. I don't believe it. People live out here?
ring and enter. I guess we're supposed to ring this hanging bell. Someone's there. It's all right. They look to me like they're just a nice old couple. Let's go ask them for directions. <laughs> hey, wait for me! They're saying something, but I can't understand what it is. I've never heard that language before. I wonder if they understand what we're saying. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Philly, what are you so scared about? They seem to be all right to me. Yeah, well, let's not forget that we rang the bell like it told us to on their sign and ended up in danger because of it. But that's because the sign was broken in two. Ah. Now I see. I grabbed the other half. Warning. Ring of quicksand. Do not enter. That's what was written. Yeah, but they know the sign is broken, and why leave a bell there? They're surrounded by a ring of quicksand. They probably don't know what's out there. Nidge me up. Nidge me up. My name's Leaf. This is Barda, Jasmine, and the little guy is Philly. Nimakud. 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 So what do you think? Let's at least go in and dry off. Hang on a minute. I don't get it. Philly wouldn't be this scared for nothing. I have a bad feeling about this. Here can lie you. Pyre. I had my doubts too, but the fact is these two people just saved our lives. What about the Rowlet Man? He'll wake up and find us gone. We'll leave as soon as we've eaten and our clothes are dry. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's so nice to be warm and dry again. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, hmm? Hey, have you noticed there are no windows? Hmm? What do you mean? There's one up there. There's something about this place. It creeps me out. I really think we should leave as soon as our clothes are dry. <laughs> Stop it! She doesn't like that! Be nice, Jasmine. <laughs> They've been nothing but kind to us. The quicksand had me worried too, but it's for people like them that we're trying to save Del Tora. <laughs> hey, Leaf, tell me is the belt still safe? And is the topaz still in place? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Am I hallucinating? Is this a dream? <laughs> this can't be real. What's happening? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, we caught them. Seif Yenifahira, we're having a feast. Uh, they're speaking backwards. But why am I the only one that can see the truth? Wait, it must be because I touched the topaz. The topaz protects its wearer from the terrors of the night. It has the power to open doors into the spirit world. It strengthens and clears the mind. Lost your mind or something? Hey! Uh, stay awake, Barda! Barda? Come on, get up, Barda! Get up! I knew there was poison in that tea! Huh? What are you doing? Hey, wait a minute! This room. Everything's different. <gasps> fresh meat! Fresh meat! It's been so long since we've eaten fresh meat. <sighs> Shall we share some with Mother? Yes, she'll love our stew. This was all a trap to have us as their dinner. I don't believe it. But why couldn't we see it? Ugh. Nidge and Dodge right backwards are Jin and Jod. Sorceress Tegan gobs her favorite food in her cave with all her brood. And the names of her children are Hot, Tot, Jin, Jin, Jin Jod, 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 Jod. Their names are Jin and Jod. They're Sorceress Tegan's children. I thought it was strange that the Grey Guards stopped searching for us. It's just not like them to give up so quickly. But now I understand why. The Grey Guards must have guessed we were hiding nearby, and they knew we'd eventually wander into the quicksand, only to be caught and eaten by Jin and Jod. Let's get out of here. That's why the only window is way up there. It's impossible to escape. So there's no way to get out without passing through the kitchen. Hey, look! Is that a door? Well, look at all that stuff. This must belong to all the travelers that have been trapped and eaten by Jin and Jod. Uh. Looks as though they drank all the tea. They're sleeping soundly. What should we do? We have to pass through the kitchen. We don't stand a chance against Sorceress Tegan's children. It's better than doing nothing and being eaten alive. But Barda looks like he's almost unconscious. You two go. Leave me behind. That's not gonna happen. Someone's out front. We'll run away while the two of them are preoccupied. It's our only chance. I'm sorry, Leaf. Don't worry about it. Huh? Leaf! Huh? Uh. The Rallid Man! It's a trap! Don't come any closer! There's a pit of quicksand in front of you! Oh, just great! Those maggots were only pretending they were asleep! How dare they trick us! <laughs> We're 
We're surrounded by quicksand. It's useless. We know those two monsters have to get out to visit their sorceress mother, so there's got to be a way to get to the other side. <sighs> We've been looking forward to this face. You won't escape! Ah! Who's that? The Relic Man's come to save us! We saved his life. Now he's saving ours. We'll get you over. dare you interrupt our dinner! Ah! <laughs> Wait a minute. There's no mud on you. You're totally clean. How did you get across the circle of quicksand? It's some kind of path that'll take us to the other side. Hmm. <sighs> there must be one of these over there, too. He risked his life to come here, to show us how to escape from Jin and Jod. <laughs> They'll be here very soon. Even if we get across, I'm not sure we'll be able to lose them. <sighs> it looks like he's saying you were right, Jasmine. With the other device, we might be able to close the bridge. You want to trap Jin and Jod in their own quicksand? That's right. You go ahead. Hmm. Wait, you should go too. You're in no condition to fight. If I can move, then I can fight, boy. Don't worry, Rallid people can carry up to ten times their own weight. Now, where were we? This is not the full extent of our abilities. We are children of Tagen. You haven't seen anything yet. Boy, now your poor wing is hurt. <laughs> Don't worry, Cree. Look at this. You'll be well enough to fly again in no time at all. on your shoulder. You've been hurt badly as well. We need to save the nectar for important things. I have an ointment. My wound's not that serious. <sighs> Thank you, Leaf. Barda, how are you feeling? I'll be fine, thanks. What's he drawing? Characters of the Rallid tribe. He says his name is Manus. Hello, Manus. It seems that before the Grey Guards caught him, he was enslaved and tortured by Jin and Jod. In that corner. That's how he knew how to get across the quicksand. He says he wants to thank us. You have saved me twice now. My life is yours. The reason I'm thanking you in writing is because long ago, Tegan placed a spell on old Rallet people 
From then on, we could not speak. Uh. Out of spite and jealousy, Tegan created the Lake of Tears from the beauty of Dor. The relics of that time raised their voices against her. She put a stop to it. There have been no words spoken in Raladin for a hundred years. Uh. Mm. I'm sure Tegan will find out what happened to her children soon enough. We should leave this place right away. Well, goodbye, Manus. You take care. And don't you get caught again. Ah! Ah! That's enough, Cree. I'm sure Manus will be more careful. Ah! Hey, Cree, you know you were a real hero back there. Ah! I feel safer having a friend like him along. I think Barda feels the same. Yes, I do. <laughs> I think that's three to one. I guess it can't be helped then. I still don't think it's a good idea. But everyone else wants you to come. Ah! We still only have one gem. But now, together as friends, we can hurry and find the remaining six. All right, let's get going. as our guide, we finally arrive at Raladin. But it's empty as a ghost town. What happened here? How are we ever gonna get the second gem? Next episode, The Monster in the Lake of Tears.